Hello, everyone. It's Thursday. It's time for Komodo Platforms Thursday Town Hall. I'm Ijuliano, and we have Artakush, Otto, Hello. Delton, and Jay Charming here today. We're going to talk about Komodo Platform in the news, some events, social media activity, and community activity. Well, I'll just mention there's been some green price activity too. That's pretty exciting for everyone who likes to, to look at, at in that direction. But here we're talking uh, tech talk today. You know, it's our tech story. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna move into Komodo in the news. And that's gonna be Delton who's going to share with us about that. So Delton, tell us all there is to know for this week. Thank, thanks, Juliano. how's it going? And going very well. I'm excited. How about you? Yeah, very well. We have a lot of uh, good news this week. So first up, we have a quote in CryptoNews.com from Komodo CTO Kadan Stableman, CA333. So this news piece is talking about Uniswap V3, which launched uh, yesterday. Um, so this little section here says Uniswap V3 would inevitably lead to a market divergence, according to Kadan Stadelman, CTO of Komodo. But the changes look like they will make it more difficult for the average Uniswap liquidity provider, but easier for professional market makers. Will other DEXs adopt a similar model to become more like Uniswap V3, or will they choose to stick with their existing models? That's what a lot of people are wondering at the moment. So I think this is a very good quote because it's just talking about the current state of uh, Dex technology, DeFi technology, what's going on? Um, is Uniswap V3 launch is very exciting, and it's kind of exciting to uh, compare all the different uh, liquidity solutions in uh, the Dex space right now, especially with the AMMs and also uh, with uh, Dexes like Atomic Dex, which are truly uh, peer to peer and non custodial. Yeah, it's good to have yeah. some some of CA Triple Three's voice out there when it comes to Dexes. For sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And next up, we have the official results of Komodo's fifth annual notary note election. Um, so this uh, election took place uh, throughout April. It was very exciting. We had a live stream event uh, around uh, the election and all the candidates, or a lot of the candidates at least, uh, gave presentations about why they should be elected. And we have the official results here. Uh, there's an official page where you can view the uh, vote count. Um, but in this blog post, we have a list of the winners from the four different regions, including the auto election winners, which were announced earlier in April. So congrats to everyone and uh, thanks to the voters as well. Congratulations. And yeah, finally, congrats. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> And finally, we have the monthly recap for April. So if you're new to Komodo or you've uh, you know, been following Komodo, but you want more details about the highlights from the month, be sure to check this out. Um, we look at the latest release of Atomic Dex, again, with the notary note election results. Uh, we talk about the Komodo Developer Academy reveal event we had last week, as well as the Q1 2021 marketing report, uh, media mentions, uh, ecosystem news from uh, Pirate, Juicy Chain, Tokel, um, and even a Lunar Crush report at the end that kind of shows our social contributors and just like how the metrics are going. Um, and also be sure to subscribe to the Komodo newsletter at the bottom as well. So you'll get the marketing uh, reports and uh, these monthly recaps and monthly previews sent directly to your inbox and you'll uh, be the first one to receive that information. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for Komodo News this week. Thank you. A juicy chain that's the one to uh keep uh, an ear out and an eye out for um interesting good so now we're going to move on thank you delton for that we're moving over to auto who's going to talk about some events relating to may auto uh, yep so we are ready for may we just start completing our planning this week as this May sprint has started for, for our marketing team. And we published this post that outlines what's coming in terms of live streams. So what um, May brings us is um, like we are basically taking another push 
to upload our website uh, with, with new content. The latest post we did back in January when we brought in the, the new website online, and now we want to expand it. And uh, we want to expand it, and especially our messaging in terms of uh, the business angle and outlining the, the products that we have uh, for, for businesses. And one, one of them in particular that we'll be talking about is uh, Commodore Atomic X API. And that allows anyone to launch a branded DEX. And uh, we are quite excited about that whole opportunity. And we believe this is uh, going to get a lot of adoption for the entire Commodore technology. And of course, leads to Atomic DEX adoption and user expansion as well. So, so we look to help our business team as much as we can to, to capture this opportunity. And at the end of the month, we are, we are going to have a little event about it, where we also find all the other web pages that we hopefully have time to create and other materials that, that we are working on. So to now to that, uh, kind of like a monthly update. And all that stuff we are going on, and of course, the, just the normal hangouts, interest meetings, and this Thursday town halls. And I'm going to let Artibus talk a little bit more about the, the hangouts soon here. But that basically concludes uh, updates from, from my side. Thanks, Otto. That's really great news, actually. It, it, I think that it, it, it's another step forward for the Komodo platform delivering um you know opportunities for anyone to 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 have, again branded decks uh, it's it's like the bespoke or white label type of idea that komodo platform uh, had intended as part of its potential years ago isn't it yeah and and the dots that really brought us a lot of users a lot of new people and we think like anyone, any project would like to have their own decks. And we have that uh, solution there to offer. So we just now need to go there and capture this opportunity. And that's what uh, we, are, we are trying to do here. That, that's one, one of the top priorities for the entire team. Well, that's great. I think that's great news. And I think it would be a lovely world to see a whole bunch of atomic DEXs branded and not even doesn't even people might not even know their atomic DEXs and they're using all these branded DEXs and there's atomic DEX right there under it all. Beautiful thing. Okay, well, uh, we're going to move forward to JC over here. Jay Charming, how are you doing? And uh, catch us up a bit on some social media activity. Yeah, hey, doing great. I also lots of volume to what Otto was saying. It's just like uh, there's all these opportunities that are that are starting to culminate and come together for like uh, you don't have to be using like you don't have to be in Komodo Discord like even here like in the Thursday Town Hall to be starting to interact with uh, with Komodo and then KMD as a result of that like Doge decks and uh, conversations around other branded dexes and other um, ecosystem projects like Pirate Chain are bringing in more uh, flow and resources that are impacting everybody else here. Chips recently like having a higher liquidity market. Uh, on Atomic Dex is bringing more users there. It's just like this is a multifactorial like benefit coming from all the projects here. Yeah, and there bright. was just a shout out from Collider who was, was on the town hall listening in, saying or announcing to us that Collider Dex is coming. So it's oh right, that. nice. For those uh, that are listening and don't know who Collider is or what's going on there, uh, Collider was one of the two showcase projects within the uh, Komodo ecosystem that has this like uh, end user working uh, interface for a game. And uh, Collider's game is is pretty sweet. I'd recommend anybody to go check it out. It's like based on all kinds of different coin projects, and you kind of like run it through um, uh, a real time like graphics engine like simulator. It's almost like a little bit of a slot machine or a pinball game. It's super super cool. You can earn yeah, prizes physics based all kinds of exactly. stuff physics based yeah. yeah yeah and it and going completely on chain using komodo's technology to use multi-chain architecture to create uh what was what he called um like a division of labor and then they can all interact and create and this is incredible this is incredible which is so cool 
yeah cheers to collider and uh, after the hangout if you if collider you want to come up if you're available uh, and people want to ask questions if that's possible that would be cool too but anyway that's besides the point yeah i think that's nice to to see that that's happening and um and if you're new it's a great way to get collider. introduced to new coins because you just yeah, show up with a little bit of kmd or whatever you got in your wallet and like you get to like trade out and learn about all kinds of other coins that you get out of the slots yeah. Yeah, and old coins too. Old coins are there too. It's interesting because Collider's been around for a long time, uh, you know, relatively speaking in the crypto life of, of, of things. And um, I, yeah. I also would just want to say one last thing before I let you continue there, uh, Jay Charming, is that um, you, with the with the with the Collider. Um, well, you know what? Actually, you know what? I lost my, my point here anyway. Uh, we're going too far. I'll catch it back again. Jay Charming, tell, <laughs> okay. tell us about some social media activity. Just shout outs to Collider and the work you're doing and cheers. Okay, go on. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm gonna just cover uh, three of the tweets that we had that got a lot of uh, got a lot of energy and, and promotion this past week. The uh, first one we got is uh, is the crypto Domus talking about uh, saying here I'll help summarize. Founded in 2016, board from Zcash, blockchain platform focusing primarily on interop, scalability, security, flexible smart contracts, privacy thinking about R built on KMD tech. And it's this wonderful, long multi-tweet thread that's like showcasing all of these things. It's, it's just, it's, it's great. If you've ever gone on and you've seen like Satinder do some uh, really great uh, Twitter threads, if you've seen uh, the Komodo platform having some great Twitter threads like this one by CryptoDomus is just another one that came out on May 5th. Really, really great information up in here about the KMD and the market cap and, Ah, it's great. <laughs> Recommend everybody take a chance to read it. Share it around. It's uh, this is the kind of information that's that gets more people interested in Komodo and gets us and gets them investigating. Cool. Absolutely. If you haven't had uh, a time to kind of uh, like the tweet, please go there and uh, get some love for the person who actually puts the time. Yes. Good yeah. point. Good. Point. Definitely. Um, so then we've got the uh, um, what is Deepow by uh, at the from our handle at, at Komodo platform, and the conversation about using uh, Litecoin to create checkpoints for smaller projects. Uh, the delayed proof of work it counters 51% attacks and double spends. Uh, this is particularly useful when you're a small project and your chain is more susceptible to attack because you wind up using the Bitcoin hash rate to secure your own project. This is like one of the original founding pieces for Komodo platform and its tech, and it created a lot of security within the space, and many projects have had the opportunity to grow and flourish, which would have even run into problems and almost gotten snuffed out. Um, if it wasn't for this, like there would be projects that don't exist at all, which is really, really cool. And uh, this last one of offers reassurance to exchanges. There was a uh, project, I think it was uh, Gleek, is that, is that right, Otto, that, uh, or Delton, that it got listed on Bittrex and- Yeah, it was Gleek. Oh. Yeah, and it was like one of the primary results was that in the Bittrex audit, they're like, you know, these things look insecure and, and Gleek was all like, well, we have Deepow. And Bittrex goes, oh, well, what's Deepow? And we're like, and they basically said like, you have to attack both KMD and Bitcoin in order to hurt us. And Bittrex was like, cool, stamp of approval. Yeah, that's a really good point about um, what Komodo offers, which is it offers life to, to chains that might not otherwise survive and and um and you know what everybody deserves to have that if they want to change they should deserve to be able to have a change so that's beautiful thanks yeah and the uh, latest update to that deep uh, uh technology situation is that uh litecoin has been added as as this option to be secured against um so like it's a uh, bitcoin can get quite expensive when doing the notarizations along the path so in order to help uh, Komodo flourish in order to help like all the projects that line up to use its security like we now have this option to like switch off to using Litecoin in situations where the expense is rising and the security is the same to like help fund like for future and further development be able to expand our team and do things like this and this is this was like a huge pull through to be like okay like we're just gonna like apparently you know the, the amazing dev team here it just goes like we're just gonna also add Litecoin as an option and we're gonna use it when we need to and it's really great. So more, more wider support across uh, interop projects. KMD making it possible. 
Yes, sir. Now we've got the, uh, I've got a third tweet that I want to share and then I'll get off the line. And we've got the, um, from Regnar here from in the channels, who's been spitting out stuff for years about all kinds of great information. Uh, says, thanks for the quick updates to Atomic Dex information, uh, talking to at Coin Paprika and adding an Atomic Dex and Komodo platform on there. You can now see these Atomic Dex exchange statistics on Coin Paprika, this is like the huge, one of the huge like steps forward for us for uh, visibility and, and marketing and being able to like get some promotion out there is having like a bunch of these <coughs> statistics and everything out there because it's not, it's not as easy as I like follow along in the channels and try to understand what's actually going on like through developer speak and try to translate it into something that my brain can comprehend. Uh, it's not just e as easy as saying like, hey, Coin Paprika, like we've got volume on here. Like, will you just put it on your site? Apparently there's all kinds of thing, endpoints and different kinds of connections and APIs that have to be made. And because it's a centralized exchange and a decentralized order book, these are new challenges. So it's not just like handing off an Excel sheet or handing off like a, necessarily a single like easy API. It's like there's been new solutions being forged and created for a lot of the different combinations for the decentralized order books. And I'm maybe sometime we'll get like a cool kind of dev overview uh, and maybe even Delton will write out a blog piece about that one day um, as like that process becomes like more, more understood and solidified for like the, basically like the challenges that decentralized exchanges face that centralized exchanges don't even have to worry about. So when everybody goes like, why isn't there a good decentralized exchange? Like right now, like copy paste. And it's like, well, it's being made and it takes time. And Komodo is making it in such a way that Atomic Dex can be copy pasted for anybody. Nice. That is some great news, man. That's all Who I got. Hates Popper? Who hates Popper? There you go. <laughs> All right, Jay Charming, thank you so much for those and definitely big cheers and shout out to Ragnar for all of the movement you create. Amazing, uh, you know, yeah, just amazing. And also um, what I did want to say about Collider earlier, it did come back to me, it was just simple. There's a, a great video uh, uh, that uh, Collider has on, on the YouTube and it's, a, it's a, 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 yeah, just a great video. Watch that video. It's a, a nice little marketing spot, good music, good, good, good captures of, of all the different uh, possibilities there. Anyway, yeah, check drop, out. Drop us a link, drop us a link. Oh uh, yeah, I'll go fish it out now. It's Artakush who's gonna talk about uh, some community information, uh, community activity. So Artakush, why don't you take it away now, okay? Hey guys, um, it's really nice to be here. Um, today I wanna talk about the Komodo Community Contributor Interest Meetups which are happening at uh, 3 p.m. You can see nowadays once per week. And uh, we're trying to look into uh, changing this time into a bit earlier time to reach out more of the community. And uh, we are looking at um, Wednesday, I think it was 12 p.m. UTC kind of bring it back and see if we can get a bit more different kind of community members joining those uh, contributor uh, interest meetups. That's one point that uh, we're kind of looking into this week and uh, forwarding to following week. So we have two community contributor interest meetups next week. One is on Wednesday at 12 p.m. UTC and the second one is at 3 p.m. UTC on Thursday, which I skipped today because I had a very important meetup and I'm sorry for that. I'll join it next week for Shizzle. And um, second thing that I wanted to talk is about the bounty that Milo put out. It was an active bounty by at imilo milo on Twitter for 500 KMD for cross compiling at Komodo platform for Raspberry Pi and hashtag ARM, hashtag CPU. You can see the tweet. Um, it's there and if uh, I'm most definitely gonna pull up the link here. Everybody could see it and everybody can contribute. I'll try to 
seek out for more bounties and actually promote them on the town hall. For the third thing, I think that uh, is one of the things that I uh, actually talked about the last time and the first time that I actually appeared on the town hall uh, is the junior development program by C8333. It's uh, an opportunity for everyone to not only learn how to develop but understand the language itself. I think that's one thing that um, I'll be joining myself just to get to know about the ways how it's being done behind the curtains, but also it's uh, an opportunity if you're a developer already. And uh, the last one is community news is uh, one of the things that I want to uh, kind of approach is getting to know the, the kind of sister communities of ours is various coin, parachain. Um, I already applied for the hangouts there and uh, I'll try to bring some of the highlights from these community hangouts to the Komodo and, and see how we can uh, rely and, and kind of um, understand what is happening uh, in surroundings and uh, on the other end of the cable, as I would say. So I think that's actually uh, that much from me for community activity. Um, I'll get back to you, Juliana. Great. That was a nice update, Artakush. Lots of things to consider there. Um, and yeah, that uh, development program. Whew, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the, this coming rest of the year is, is just so much activity now uh, in the role that you're playing to tie together more of the communities. Uh, this is brilliant. We're, we're really looking forward to what's to come here. So uh, all of you marketing team, thank you for all the work that you're doing. It's, uh, it, it's since, you know, this past year has been a very fu fun year for Komodo in my, in my experience. And so thank you for doing your best to, to help make that happen. And then of course, big shout outs and thanks to the community for all combining and making that happen as well. And if anybody for these uh, Thursday town hall meetings, if anybody is interested to be an MC, you wanna come out and, and do the MC role, come on out. You could talk to Otto and let him know and we'll set that up. All right, good. Well, I think that's about it for today. We are reaching the end of the Thursday town hall. And we talked a lot about many different things, so no harm in replaying this and uh, look forward to talking next time. Thanks, Otto. Thanks, Jay Charming. Thanks, Delton. Thanks, Artakush. And thanks everyone who's here in the Hangout. If you want to talk a bit afterwards, that's also uh, available to us. All right. Yep. Thanks, everyone. Take care, everyone. All right. Bye thank bye. you, Giuliano. Have a great night. Yeah, thank you too, Jules. You're welcome. Thanks. And thank you, Lo Lo Komodo Livestream Bot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's he's a you're welcome. All right. Bye bye.